Pete here, and I'm back for another Funbridge tournament. Now, this tournament is actually an imps tournament. I restarted the uh, tournament, and we'll be focusing on imps for a while. So, we'll jump straight in. I'll show you how to get into it. So, you click get started slash practice, exclusive tournaments, and then you just search for Bridgevid or Pete Hollands, and it should come up, and we're playing imps today. So, uh, let's see how many people play it. We've got 111 people playing it. Currently winning is the RB with 25 imps. And in second place is Goma Pa with plus 24. And then we've got an equal tie for third with Who Dealt This Rubbish, Turgeminator, and Bam Ford TC. Uh, wrapping that up. You are reading my name. I think that's a new one there. Anyway, uh, let's just have a scroll down and see who actually... Uh, made it positive must beat Pete plus 18 can't compete with Pete plus 17 so we've got a few good challenges there that we'll uh, try and beat and uh, see who actually made the uh, top half here and yeah okay well, let's jump in and see how we can go all right, so we've got 11 high card points, one diamond past me. I got a nice 6-4. This is a fantastic hand if we find a primary fit in hearts or spades. So three diamonds, okay. Um, invitational point range, so they've got a few extras with six diamonds. Here, three hearts should be forcing. Exactly five cards in hearts or a stop issue. And then the other description says at least four hearts. Usually I'd play three hearts shows um, six, but they use three spades as six card heart suit. That's interesting description. Four hearts for my partner. Okay, so we found a heart fit here. Um, what do I actually need from partner to make slam? So if they've got 15 points, let's say ace doubleton heart, Singleton Spade, Ace of Clubs, Ace King of Diamonds. That's 15 points. Like we can get there. Um, usually you want to consider um, moving forward if you can find like a perfect minimum. But I'm not sure my partner will have a Singleton Spade that often. So what sort of hands would I need partner to have where they don't have a Singleton Spade? So if they've got like King Jack of Spades, Ace of Hearts, Ace of Clubs, Ace of Diamonds, that's 16 points uh, where Slam will be really, really good. Um, but again, I'm not sure they would open one diamond and rebid three diamonds. I think having the Singleton Diamond is a bit of a danger here. I'm going to pass, but I think this is really close to, to moving on. Hopefully my partner doesn't have perfect cards. Okay, we are off two aces, so that's good news. Um, we're missing the ace of hearts, ace of clubs. I have three spade losers. I can probably trump some, or just they can all go on the uh, diamonds. Anyway, uh, let's see uh, what happens here. If they don't cash the club, they did. Um, yeah, club to the ace, and another club. Okay, uh, I can draw trumps and then I've got plenty of discards there. So four hearts plus one. Probably a flattish start, but some people might play five. Yeah, 58 people uh, in four hearts. Some people get to three no trumps, so it is awkward to find uh, the heart fit after that. But both three hearts and three spades should be forcing. But we are positive at the moment. So start it off on, on a solid foundation there. Moving on to board number two, and here we've got 19 high card points. Really, really good hand. Let's see if how this goes. So one spade, one no trump. Two diamonds here is non-forcing, so I think I have to jump to three diamonds. Uh, game forcing hand of at least five, four. And my partner's got uh, preference for spades. Um, so I'll just bid three no here we might not have a spade fit my partner can choose all right so uh, my partner does have a spade fit i don't know if they're really weak or like invitational um but i guess i pass there's like my partner doesn't have any points in hearts i might have like king king 
Queen Jack third, and we might make a slam. But uh, I, I really like being able to raise straight away rather than these sorts of awkward hands if they do have the three card invite. So I'm going to assume that they're really weak, but I don't know. Yeah, so they, they got like a really weak raised th uh, of spades. Okay, so another spade lead. Uh, I have a heart loser. I've got three diamond losers and a club loser. Um, I can trump a couple of diamonds. I could play like diamond to the queen, trump a diamond. So heart loser, club loser, probably no spade losers, but I might have one. Um, I think I want to win the queen of spades and take a diamond finesse. If that works... Uh, then I can just trump both my diamonds. If that f loses, I have a diamond loser, a heart loser, a club loser. I still want to trump two diamonds, uh, but I might be low on entry. Like, they'll draw another trump. Um, I might be able to set up the long club, or maybe the jack of diamonds comes down with one rough. Uh, this... Like, the opponent's led a diamond, which is sort of suggestive that West has good diamonds here. Um, so maybe I should just run the nine of diamonds. Uh, but I, if I do that, I know they're always going to draw another trump. So we will go with the uh, diamond to the queen. Okay, and we'll trump in there. And club to the queen. All right. <laughs> I still want to take the uh, ace of clubs here. I'll draw a trump. I don't know if the diamond's coming down. So the diamond might be coming down. Clubs might be 3-3, three, three, but I doubt it. I can always exit a heart and see if they try and cash two rounds of hearts. Uh, I could cash my spades. I can play like club to the ace, rougher club. And then play an extra spade and maybe squeeze them. But we'll see what's happening in clubs. Okay, so East has four clubs and we see a diamond go. All right, so East had... Ah, another diamond, so my diamonds are all good here. So it looks like East had Jack third diamond. Uh, so we're... I miscounted diamonds. Uh, <laughs> four plus one is five. There's eight diamonds missing. Ah, uh, how sad. Um, yeah, I thought the diamond they had fewer diamonds. Um, I could have run the nine of diamonds, which would have worked. Um, here I could have exited a heart. Uh, it's tough to read the uh, situation there, but um, yeah, minus seven imps. That that was uh, well deserved minus seven. Let's have a quick look at uh, how a few people who didn't uh, brutally misplay the hand. They drew trumps, club to the queen, club back. They exited a heart, and the robots shift to the jack of diamonds. Okay. Uh, what about 11 tricks? I reckon that's like queen of spades, run the nine of diamonds. No, diamond to the ace, rough a diamond. Club to the ace, rough a diamond. Why did they put the king on that? So at this stage, uh, they still have a diamond, a club, and a heart. They made 11 tricks, but they should have made 10 without that. Diamond to the ace, rough a diamond. My god, that's just like such better play. It, like, that is so safe. You've got a heart loser. You've roughed two of your diamonds, so you lose one diamond, one club, one heart. That's 10 tricks. 
that would be a really good imps play. Uh, I guess I was still just, you know, playing match points. <laughs> but uh, yeah, no, that, that's well played. That is how you should play that contract. Diamond to the ace, rougher diamond. Club to the ace, rougher diamond. Let's not take any of these finesses. No guesses required. Let's just hope Trump's break 3-2 and nothing gets over -roughed. And you have the upshot of King Third Diamond for the overtrick. So well played there. Have to get my head around uh, this, like, slow down, make a good solid plan, not just throw imps away. Anyway, we've got 19 high card points in a five card suit. So we'll treat that as 20 to 22. Balanced hand without a five card major in principle. <laughs> but it says between two and five cards. Um, so, um, I, I just open, like, there's no good way to open, to show 20 to 22 with a five card major. So just open it and we get to four hearts. Okay. So diamond lead, uh, well, I found a good lead. I have a club loser, a diamond loser, and a few heart losers. I can lead a heart up to the king, hoping east has the ace of hearts. And I can then uh, lead a heart back up. I could play like three rounds of spades, trying to discard my diamond. I think that's probably a fair thing to do. Um, like most of the time they'll trump in, but I'll get my diamond away. And then I've got a better shot of only losing uh, a club. Uh, but I'll probably lose two hearts and a club because I don't have entries to the south hand anymore. So what about potentially throwing my clubs away, one on the ten of diamonds, one on the third spade, and trying to lose just one diamond and two hearts? I think that's probably better. So the robots won't know to necessarily shift to clubs, so we'll just win the ace of diamonds and fire back a diamond. Okay, and uh, jack of spades and that holds. So at this moment, still not in a rush to get rid of my clubs, so we'll try and draw a trump at this stage. And that works, so we can return another heart and just cover the 10 there. And I've still got the ace of hearts, but at this stage, we get uh, rid of, ah, oh, that was bad play. I should have roughed it and played a heart because I can throw both clubs away. Uh, now I need the spade not to get knocked off. So a little bit sloppy there, but uh, got away with it. And that's 10 tricks. They still get the ace of hearts. Okay, 10 tricks. Okay, plus six imps. A few people went off in that. Some people made 11, so spade and no trump, two no four hearts. Diamond lead, oh, they played it the other way up. Spade, 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 yeah. So I was thinking if this got trumped, which it will a lot of the time, and the ace of hearts isn't on side, which will happen half the time, uh, then I just feel like you're going down. So at imps, I thought this was a risky play. Match points makes a lot more sense. So I think I managed to flip my head over, um, but also notice 450, same amount of imps as that. So no win there. It's really about just trying to make your contract here. And I thought that was a nice, well, a good way to try and do it. Anyway, back to all square after butchering the second board there. Moving on to board number four. We've got 12 high card points and seven clubs. Just checking what a three club bid here. At least six clubs between 11 and 12 points. I think that's a pretty good description of my hand. So we'll jump to three clubs and buy it there. All right, so partner's got uh, 11 points. Pretty garbagey hand. Um, like stiff club, no aces. Uh, one diamond, pass, pass, pass three clubs so 11 opposite 12 is 23 17 points missing um east doesn't have six so uh, 
West can still be a minimum opening hand here. Uh, we're missing ace, ace, like the three aces and the queen of clubs, queen of spades. Okay, there's two points for my right hand opponent. That's weak. Let's just ditch a spade. And okay, clubs were three, two. And we'll knock out uh, the ace of diamonds. They should just get their uh, other ace at this stage. And we get... Uh, ten tricks. Three no looks to be cold. Um, because of my partner's good, like, useful cards there. Like, slow useful cards. So we'll probably lose some mips here. Wow, we won an imp. Um... People got to four no trumps. One diamond pass past three no trumps. That's sad. Um, <laughs> and they find the killing low spade lead to uh, get two spades, a heart, and a diamond. So three no seemed cold here. Uh, loving the imps format. What happened to the match point tournament? Loving the imps. Well, yep, agreed. Good to have imps. Why not both? I vote imps. Both would be great if Pete has the time. Uh, yeah, so... Um, currently, don't have time to play both. I, if the popularity of all the videos grows, I will do like the BBO Weekly Free uh, Fun Bridge imps and a Fun Bridge uh, match points. Currently, my timing schedule, I've only got the time to play two of them. Um, that might free up or change in the future, so I might also add a uh, match points fun bridge tournament. Um, but uh, yeah, how do they defeat three no trump? Seems like they have to lead a club for you to take your seven clubs and squeeze the dummy. <laughs> that would be a cool play. Um, yeah. I, it, it's saying the par deal is uh, four clubs, not three no trumps. So three no trumps must go down. So if we run seven clubs, we need, like, we've got uh, two, six cards left. We can ditch, say, all the spades. Um, if we throw all of the spades and lead a heart up, why can't we make from there getting seven clubs and something else? But I guess that's the... Like, three no can't make, maybe, on the club lead. But, uh, yeah, certainly want to get to three no. Um, but, yeah. Anyway, we are back in positive. A solid one imp up. A couple of weeks ago, I posted this Minesweeper puzzle of where should you actually go in the bottom uh, corner. And this is it zoomed up. And here... I think the best answer is actually the top right corner, which is just a 50-50 uh, guess. Half the time you die, half the time you actually solve it, because uh, in if you don't die immediately, it will either say one or two. If it says one, you know the bottom left is a bomb as well as the top left. If it says two, you don't know between the bottom right and bottom middle, but you know the left bottom left is safe, and that will tell you where it is, so you'll always get it right from there. Uh, I think it's then r really, really almost identically close to the bottom left and the bottom right. Um, but uh, both of them, a third of the time you die, a third of the time you'll solve it, and a third of the time you'll have a 50-50 again. So it's like 49.9 .9 recurring, um, so almost exactly the same there. Um, but I just wanted to highlight that some people just think this is uh, like a 50-50 guess and then some people go, oh no, it's like two thirds of the time you don't die if you go in the, the bottom middle. But this is really about trying to get to the end. You want to solve the, the whole thing. So even not dying now doesn't help your chances, then you should just take the immediate risk there. Um, but the bottom left and bottom right are about equally as good as well. Anyway, um, this week, I wanted to bring back to Did You Know? Uh, so a little bit of bridge trivia. Uh, when did the scoring uh, 
last change for bridge so a while ago um doubled under tricks were uh not the minus one three five eight um, but minus one three five seven so forth when did that scoring change actually come into play so do you know when the scoring change actually comes into play let's move on to board number five and here we've got a five five minus twelve count um, I opened one of them, so I'll over call a diamond. And my partner's bidding my shortage, which isn't very enticing. Two no, three hearts. What was two no? A hand with a hope of playing game or slam. At least 11 points. And east is just minimum. And that's where they stopped in three hearts. Okay, so my partner led a diamond. Um, dummy came down with flat 12 points. Um, I also have 12 points, so that's uh, 24. 16 points missing. Wes has a hope of game, so sort of 10, 11, but that can be based on distribution. My partner does have spades, like five spades. Spades are like five, four, one, three. Anyway. So we've got a heart trick, a club trick. So win there. And I guess we just play diamonds. And my partner can hopefully rough this. Queen of clubs, that's good. And, ooh. Hmm. Do I, like, if my partner doesn't have the jack of clubs, switching to a club here is bad. Because uh, they can just run that round to the nine. So my partner's got a Dalton diamond, probably three hearts, five spades. They shouldn't have a Dalton club. Okay. That gets roughed. And now it's just do we get a spade trick or not? But we've already got five tricks, so they are down. Um, we get a spade trick. Okay. Two down. Go us. Okay, plus three imps. Uh, some people only beat it one. Others two diamonds. Like, maybe they shifted to a, a spade. Is that... Diamond lead. Heart up. Heart back. Ah, uh, they didn't play King of Diamonds Diamond. Okay, so King of Diamonds Diamond is definitely uh, superior there. Anyway, we are up to plus four. Moving on to board number six. Fifteen count, six, four. So start with one heart. My partner's double here shows sort of both minors. Um, I've got a really good hand here. I want to do something like four diamonds. Double. Uh, this bid shows a reserve of points, but with any without any further description of. Uh... All right, four diamonds doubled. Do I want to run to four hearts? Do I just pass? I think four diamonds doubled will probably be okay, uh, but I don't. I don't see four hearts being better. So, okay, four diamonds looks pretty reasonable, except for losing a diamond, two spades, and a club. So spade, spade. All right. Um, So, if the diamond finesse is working here, we are just cold. Uh, I don't know who's got the ace of clubs, but probably the west player. Um, so it went ace of spades, spade to the king. So it looks like west has ace queen of spades to five. 
The Ace of Clubs is 10. One of the Jacks and the King of Diamonds. If double is like those values, then I think I should not finesse the diamond. But I'm not sure there's any harm in leading the Queen of Diamonds, but... Yeah, we'll just play diamond to the ace. Okay, diamonds were 2-2, two, two, and they get the ace of clubs there. Uh, so, one down there. Um, four hearts had the uh, same losers. Four diamonds seemed, seemed fair. Feels really harsh that I got doubled there. Um, lose two imps. 21 people didn't... I was the only one that got doubled. They bid three diamonds, and then your partner can competes to four diamonds. Like, I thought my I would have raised that to five diamonds. So, um, and people in five diamonds didn't get doubled. So, if you just bid three diamonds and then five diamonds, you don't get doubled. But I thought I was showing like the most constructive thing I could, and I got doubled there. Wow. Um, and some people just rebid their hearts. I really like showing the other suit, especially when your partner said, I've got both. Technically, they don't have clubs here, but I, I still feel like my hand was worth uh, trying to show a constructive bid. But getting doubled there, wow. Was I the only one that chose that, that option, I guess? Um, wow, some people got to four hearts and made it. Three hearts and then four hearts. They get the king of diamonds lead. So I never bid diamonds and get the king of diamonds lead and that was 11 tricks because you just draw trumps and claim. Okay, anyway, we're still positive, plus two. Moving on to board number seven. Okay, we got a traditional week two. Got a pretty boring shape for it, but decent enough spades. All vol, it's not fantastic, but just got to bid it. And anyway, three diamonds, three hearts, three no. Uh, so west is strong with hearts, and east doesn't like it. East is a pretty weak hand. Okay, king of spades lead. Dummy came down with a 6-5-18 count. Um, well, it looks like they got six clubs, two hearts, and a spade is nine top tricks. So it's whether we can get any extras. Alright, so if East has the Queen of Hearts, they've got like heaps of tricks. So I need my partner to hold on to hearts. Um, so discard a spade there, let go another spade, and maybe my partner's got a spade to get to me, yeah, okay, so, ah, they had the ace king of diamonds as well, so it didn't really matter what I did, lose one imp. What was winning imps there? Four spades east. Pass. What? Four spades east. One club, one diamond, one spade. One no trump. Three hearts. Pass. Four spades. <laughs> okay. Uh, that sort of went off the rails there. Okay. We're still positive, one board to play. Hopefully we can finish with a positive set. Uh, 13 highs, one spade past two spades. Looks like a three diamond bid. Um, yeah, I don't really see us bidding anymore. So, sell out there. And we got a diamond lead. 10 of diamonds looks like doubleton, maybe singleton. So I could go ace, king, of diamonds, potentially diamond rough. So we'll start with that. My nine of diamonds is good enough to beat the dummy. Oh wow, my partner had queen, 10, three, and led the 10. 
Not what I was expecting there. Uh, our heart tricks aren't going anywhere, so we'll just continue a diamond. I wanted to see if they took like a like randomly trumped it in high or something. Uh, I should do more point counting here. They had good clubs. They had nothing in diamonds. It looks like my partner's got a top spade, so they. If my partner had the queen of heart, or like if West had the queen of hearts, they should have finessed hearts. So my partner's got the queen of hearts, so um, let's play a heart. I kind of wanted me to be on lead to play like heart, heart, and then diamond through. My partner got end played there. I don't think it mattered because if I got through, we wouldn't get the heart lead. But plus two imps for beating that two tricks. That was an interesting one. Hope you enjoyed the imps format. I completely butchered board two. I think that one's the most interesting one. Um, but yeah, just threw away a game contract. So could have had uh, 17 imp swing there. So could have got up to plus 20 if I took a bit more time on board number two. Um, but uh, sort of rushed that one, unfortunately. Uh, but hope you enjoy the imp tournament. Um, so there'll be more of that. Thanks all for watching If you like this content and want to see more of it um, Please check out my patreon because without them. Uh, I wouldn't be able to make this content So big thanks to all my supporters. Please check out the uh, link over there. Thanks all for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye for now